Well, hello. How everybody doing out there in Cowboy Nation? This is the Cody Show. Coming back at you with another video. And this is the predictions, the three keys to victory that I have for the Dallas Cowboys coming up on Sunday at 3 30 p.m. And the Dallas Cowboys have another home game that they have to really win. Uh, all right, the first key to victory, the Dallas Cowboys need to pressure Jerry Goff despite injuries up front. Despite the injuries we have up front, we still need to put pressure on Jerry Goff. Our Dallas Cowboys into week five with a depleted pass rush and became even thinner during the game. Despite this, the defense still managed to secure three sacks. One more than the Steelers and eight quarterback hits. So, despite the absence of key defensive linemen, like Michael Parsons and uh, DeMarcus Lawrence, the Cowboys will still need to find a way to generate pressure on the Lions QB, Jared Goff. We're going to need to still apply that pressure. There's no way around it. That's the key in order to be victorious in this game. To do so, the Cowboys will once again rely on the likes of Paul Lawson. That's who we have. Uh, Lynn Vale Joseph, Mozzie Smith, Osa Dugazua to get the job done. And that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to rely on these guys, which Jared Goff, he has been remarkably doable this season, only being sacked seven times in four games. So he ain't been on the, on the pavement that much, which ranks 27th in the league. Wow, that ain't that much. The Cowboys defensive line will need to generate a consistent pass rush to disrupt the line's rhythm and force some turnovers, which we need very bad. But our second key to victory is contain Aiden Hutchinson, the, the man of the week, which you could say he's in the running, he's in the lead. But last week, uh, the Cowboys had to face T.J. White. This week, the Cowboys facing another a formidable opponent, Russia in defense. And that is Aiden Hutchinson, the current NFL sack leader. He's leading everybody right now. Hutchinson has been playing at an all-pro level and making a strong case for a defensive player of the year. So we've seen that that's – the Cowboys going to have to go against uh, a great pass rusher – and this team is not only uh, doing well on, but they're doing well on all three phases of the ball. They're not just doing well on one side. So the Cowboys are going to have to play and be at their A game without a shadow of a doubt. That's just for sure. But uh, anyway, Hutchinson is a pro bowler. Selection of uh, 2023 has recorded six and a half sacks. 23 pressures and 14 quarterback hits through September, earning the former first round pick the Defensive Player of the Month award. Okay, so we gotta be careful with this guy. He's, he's, he's balling out. He's balling out. So, number three. The three, third key to victory, the Dallas Cowboys need to clean up the penalties and eliminate the mistakes. The Cowboys 
the Cowboys. The penalties just keep coming, keep going. But uh, our woes continued in last week as they committed 11 penalties in a game for the third straight week this season. And in back-to-back games at that. So currently the Cowboys is ranked fourth in the league for penalties with a total of 43 infractions, resulting in 331 yards. Among those penalties, the Cowboys are tied for second in false starts. 10 and tied for, oh, they, they, they tied for second in false starts with 10 and tied. Uh, for third off in offensive holding calls with eight of those so that is not good at all we need to clean up those penalties man and, and get some things done so if we could do those three peaceful things and Dak Prescott need to eliminate his uh, turnover problems uh, with the fumble and the two different two interceptions that he had in the last week's game, which he still was able to combat those and come back and make a great effort, and we was able to win. That's what you call a team that's staying together and corralling, uh, keeping their, uh, their mental. That's a mental tough uh, performance right there. So we looking for the Cowboys to do the same. And I'm just going to go on a limb and make my prediction uh, that the Dallas Cowboys in this game will win this game. And I'm going to go out and say it'll be 35 to 20. 35 to 20. All right. So with that being said, leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think about this game, who will win, and what your predictions are. And this is the Cody Show. And I'm out. Peace. Salute.